In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to select all files in Google Drive. Whether you're organizing your digital life or just trying to find something quickly, knowing how to select everything at once can be a real time saver. We're going to walk through this process with straightforward steps, making it easy to follow along. So let's dive in and get started. First, open your preferred web browser and navigate to the Google Drive homepage. If you're not already logged in, you'll need to enter your login credentials. Once you're in, you'll find yourself on the home screen of Google Drive. This is where all your files and folders are located, conveniently organized for your ease of access. It's crucial to be on this main page because the steps we'll follow require this view. Now that you're on the home page, the next step is to select any single file. This preliminary step might seem unnecessary, but it's an important part of the sequence for selecting everything later. Click once on any file in your main view. This tells Google Drive that you're preparing to make multiple selections. With your first file selected, keep your eyes on your keyboard because here comes the key combination magic. Press and hold the control key on your keyboard if you're using a PC. If you're on a Mac, you'd want to use the command key as the alternative. While holding down that key, proceed to press the letter A. This combination of keys, control plus A or command plus A on a Mac, is a universal shortcut for select all. And when you're in Google Drive, it selects all the files and folders visible on your main screen. Notice that instantly all your files, folders and anything on the displayed page should become highlighted, indicating that they are selected. This trick works wonders when you're trying to move multiple files, manage your folders more efficiently, or even when you simply need to make edits to numerous files at once. It's important to ensure that nothing disruptive happens while you're following these steps, such as an internet drop or an accidental click outside the window, which may deselect your files. If that happens, just repeat the process. Additionally, be cautious when performing actions on all selected files, like deleting or moving them, to prevent accidental loss of important data. And there you have it, you've successfully selected all files in Google Drive. It's a simple method, but incredibly useful. You can always revisit these instructions anytime you need a refresher. Thanks for tuning in today. Remember to subscribe for more easy to follow tech guides. See you in the next video.